Go. Ready? Okay, this is the proper way to do a safety demo. The gentleman just bought a scooter. Sir, please go ahead and go on the scooter. Before we get the safety guys, I want you to do this. Educate the customer so they enjoy this machine. Sir, this is the parking brake. You see how that's flat? This is not the parking brake. I don't know why that's too stare, but at any rate, just be mindful. This machine has three speeds. It's three powers, not gears. So it's a bit counterintuitive in the sense that if you're going up a hill in a car, you want to be in low gear. With this, it's power. Electric is different. So if you're going up a hill and you need more power and the thing's petering out, just kick it in, you can shift on the fly into more power, okay? One turn of the light is, uh, one turn of the key is one, two turns is one with the headlight. Guys, show them how to open the cell phone holder and be mindful that they turn the switch on for the USB charger, okay? You can just leave that on, it doesn't draw hardly anything, so I don't want you to forget and have that off and think your charger's not working. Here's your throttle, here's your brake. Okay, now for the safety part. As you see, this is a very well-balanced button. Okay, I designed it for that reason. It will turn. That's why it does what it does. It will turn on its own axis. This thing has extreme power, but this is a driver's bike and responsibility comes with it. Now, as you can see, lean back and just be relaxed, okay? Now, he can sit here. It's fine. Watch the birds, watch the trees, watch movies or whatever. It's very well balanced. But understand something. When you start to change the math on things, you've got to be conscious of that. So put your hands here, sir. Now, hold on. Now, this is a backrest, it's not a recliner for goodness sakes, I tell people that way. So if you're going up a hill or over a curb, do you see how that feels? Uh, not good, okay? So, my point is this, slide forward a little bit. You see what just happened? Okay, and then once you get over the hill or the curb, then of course you can relax again. But you would think this is common sense, and I tell people when you used to ride a bicycle, did you, when you're going up over a curb, did you lean forward or did you lean back and see what happens? Okay, so it, you would think it's common sense, but I'd rather you learn from me than learn the hard way, if you will. But other than that, just enjoy the bike. That's it.